Can you turn that scary on and off? Um, <laughs> people ask that of my wife. They, they say, are, are you scared of them sometimes? <laughs> um, can I turn it? It depends on, you know, what is happening, like, in the scene. Sometimes I do need to work up to it. I could sort of just turn on being nucky, you know, I could be on set and joking around and, and then action and then I'm like in it. But if Nucky's doing something that's really, really dark, no, I can't just turn that on. I mean, it, there has to, I, there, and I couldn't really articulate what it is that I do, but it's hard to just turn that on. It's, um, uh, it takes, it takes, it takes a little bit of getting into it. Or just taking a moment before, you know, or just being quiet or, um, yeah. To conjure that up. To do, yeah, whatever it is. Whatever, you know, it is inside of you that you conjure up. At the same time, can you sh shoot somebody a look pretty easily? I mean, you probably have a pretty scary, somebody does something. I guess, and I, you know, sometimes I think I'm unaware of it, you know. Um, I think sometimes, either in the street, if somebody stops me and I'm sort of in a rush or something and I don't want to engage, I probably have a look <laughs> that is not very inviting. And probably on set too, you know, um, uh, the PAs have probably uh, witnessed that uh, a lot, you know, when they're ready for me on set, but I'm not quite ready to come to set. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, but I don't think that that's my normal look. I, I hope not. This is the longest time you've been with a character. Yeah. What's that like? Um, it's weird. It's, you know, it's... I keep joking that I'm, you know, we couldn't go past five seasons because I've run out of expressions. You know, <laughs> there's, there's only so many nucky looks. Um, and it is, you know, it's a challenge to, you know, sort of... Um, what was really challenging was in the beginning Nucky was a lot more in the public eye. He was making speeches. He was, you know, uh, he was having fun. He was making jokes, you know. And then each season he sort of got more sort of withdrawn and darker and did more terrible things. Um, and it was great as a character, you know, to have, you know, that place to go. But it was also like, wow, um, I don't know how much longer I can keep doing this, like be this guy. Um, I think Jimmy Gandolfini like really struggled with that playing Tony on a much grander scale. And, you know, he would, you know, when I got this part, he would joke with me about, you know, let's see how long it takes for you to, you know, kind of go off the rails. Um, um, and I could see why now. I mean, you know, it's, you know, plus it's the long hours and it's, and it's all that, but it's also playing a character that is this dark that it, it does start to get under your skin. So you're ready to say goodbye to him? Yeah, I mean, I'm ready to move on to something else. It's, you know, it's so bittersweet because it's, um, I'll just miss everybody, you know, involved and, um, uh, but yeah, in, but I am ready, you know, I think, I think it, it, it was time to end it. And so I'm glad we're not going on another few years where it would, then it would really be uncomfortable, you know. It's, but I think this was like the perfect timing.